In the past, a family of hunters lived in a forest all year round. The hunter had a great hatred with the animals in the woods. However, many years ago, a strange thing happened during a rare snowstorm in winter. A majestic and mighty tiger was walking in the cold wind, holding a dead hare in its mouth, and it walked towards the only house in the forest. That was the hunter's home. After walking to the door, the tiger placed the hare at the door of the hunter's house and then slowly turned and left. Why was this tiger in front of that hunter's gate? What exactly happened? The hunter named Aaron had hunted for generations for a living. One September afternoon, Aaron packed his usual gear, said goodbye to his wife, and headed out into the mountains to hunt alone. Just as Aaron was walking quietly, he suddenly heard a voice from the front left. So he quickly drew his weapon behind him and relied on years of hunting experience to guess that there was a deer to his left. Aaron moved slowly towards the bushes. He saw a deer behind the bushes eating wild fruit on the ground, and there were no other deer beside him. He continued to observe the surrounding situation, and after finding no problems, he quickly subdued the deer. He expertly tied the deer up and ready to go home. However, as Aaron was on his way back, he suddenly heard a strange sound. Aaron picked up his weapon and walked in the direction of the sound. Suddenly, Aaron saw a small cave with a faint ray of sunlight. Aaron saw an animal lying in the cave, but he didn't know what species it was. Driven by curiosity, he boldly walked into the cave with the weapon in his hand. As he walked into the cave, he realized that it was actually a tiger. Only after he looked carefully did he realize that the tigress was having a difficult labor. Seeing this, Aaron hesitated. He had delivered dogs, so he did know something about that. But it was a tiger, so he was a little scared. Aaron had little chance of escaping the tiger's attack. Aaron decided to do something after much deliberation. The tigress outside the cave appeared to understand his initial motion which he made. Thus, it didn't give him a vicious glare. When Aaron watched this incident, he hesitantly approached the tigress. The tigress remained silent. Aaron then gave the tigress a delivery. The head of the young tiger cub was ready to be revealed, but it appeared to be stuck. Aaron carefully grabbed the little tiger cub with its head out and pulled it up gently, and after a while the front legs of the little tiger were exposed. Seeing this, Aaron knew that he was not far from success, so he gently dragged the cub while soothing the distressed tigress. Gradually, the first little tiger was born, and then everything went smoothly. With the help of Aaron, the tigress gave birth to three cubs. Then Aaron walked over to the deer and dragged the deer in the direction of the cave. After reaching the entrance of the cave, Aaron took out his knife and cut off the deer's head directly and then threw it into the cave. The deer head rolled directly in front of the tigress. Then Aaron took the deer home without much thought. By then the moon had risen and Aaron had finally returned home. Aaron's wife noticed that the deer had no head. She then addressed Aaron. Aaron chuckled as he admitted to his wife that he had produced the tiger. Then, as he cleaned the deer, Aaron had a conversation with his wife. He didn't get any sleep until the deer had been thoroughly cleaned. Aaron went hunting the following day in the highlands once more. At that time, he spent a long time wandering the highlands and only managed to hunt three hares. Aaron instantly had a flashback to the tigress giving birth. He had never delivered a tiger before, so he was really anxious on that day. Thinking of the distressed tigress and the cubs, Aaron couldn't hold back his curiosity any longer and wanted to go take a look, so he walked towards the cave. At that time, Aaron was getting closer and closer to the entrance of the cave, and there was still no movement in the cave. Then Aaron moved to the entrance of the cave and looked inside. The tigress was resting on the ground. At that time, Aaron didn't even notice a small rock under his feet. He accidentally kicked the small rock, which rolled quickly into the cave. When the tigress heard the movement, it let out a roar and stunned Aaron to the ground. The tigress lunged in front of Aaron. It looked at Aaron without hurting him, then turned and walked towards the cave. Aaron was startled but felt that the tigress didn't hurt him and wanted to leave quickly. Then he thought of the hare he had just hunted, took out one and threw it into the cave, then turned and walked away quickly. After that, Aaron went out hunting as usual, but didn't go to see the tigresses in the cave. Soon three years had passed. That day, Aaron prepared tools early, and after saying goodbye to his wife, he went to hunt in the mountains. It was winter and Aaron went hunting in the mountains, hoping to find enough food for their family to survive the winter. Aaron had been moving cautiously in the mountains, 
and suddenly he saw a small wild boar. Although the wild boar was not enough food for the Aaron family for the winter, it was the only prey he saw that day. Aaron promptly put it to death. Following his expert tie-up of the wild boar, Aaron proceeded to lead the animal on a trail into the highlands. But after that, he turned up nothing. Aaron was forced to take the wild boar back home. Aaron told his wife when he got home that the weather was getting colder and colder and that he was having trouble finding any more animals. He could only try again the following day. But not everything went perfectly. That evening, a rare snowstorm arrived. It was hard to venture outside at all due to the ferocious wind and rolling snowflakes. The next day, the snow did not stop. Aaron opened the door cautiously and braved the snow to clear the snow that had accumulated in front of the door. If the snow continued to accumulate at that time, they would not be able to go out at all. Time flies. Seven days passed. Watching the food at home dwindle, Aaron felt anxious. The snow didn't stop then, but if they had no more food, they would starve. In those harsh winters, starvation was life-threatening. Aaron, who watched the sky darken, made a decision. Early the next morning, with the snow still falling outside, Aaron brought his hunting gear. His wife hadn't woken up yet, and he quietly opened the door and prepared to go out. As soon as he opened the door, he looked down and saw a hare that was frozen stiff. Aaron was stunned for a moment, not knowing what was going on. He brought the hare into the house and he and his wife had a good meal. After that, the strange things did not stop. Aaron and his wife saw some frozen animals at the door every day, such as wild ducks or pheasants. Aaron began to scrutinize the frozen animals at his door and even had an idea, but he didn't tell his wife about his guess. That night, the blizzard subsided, and his wife suddenly asked him to see who had put the food on their doorstep. Aaron and his wife waited a long time and fell asleep. At that moment, Aaron heard a strange voice, and he was instantly refreshed. Then he looked at his wife and woke her up. Then he looked out the window, and after looking for a long time, he realized that there was a tiger in the snow. Across the wind and snow, he could only see something in the tiger's mouth, but he didn't know what it was. At that time, Aaron's wife also saw the tiger and showed a horrified expression. After the tiger left, Aaron opened the door and saw a hare lying in the door, so he took it into the house. At that time, his wife was also confused and asked Aaron, but he didn't tell his wife what he thought, just perfunctory her. After a few days, the blizzard finally stopped. The tiger brought them food every day these days. Aaron hurriedly walked towards the forest when the snowstorm stopped. That time, his destination was the cave where he had encountered the tiger. Aaron boldly entered the cave where the tigress was lying. The tigress did not attack Aaron after seeing him. That's when Aaron finally realized that it was the tigress who saved them. After leaving, Aaron bowed deeply in the direction of the cave, thanking the tigress for saving them. There are many stories of animals repaying their kindness, or animals and people helping each other. The earth will be a better place if we live in harmony with nature and treat all living things equally. This will also significantly benefit us. This is the tale for today. For more intriguing stories, click here.